I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with your Market Minute for Wednesday, February 8th. Soybeans ended the session mixed, mostly higher. The big feature of the session was bull spreading, supporting nearby contracts over deferred months. USDA did raise U.S. ending stocks slightly on a lower domestic crush use estimate. They left the soybean gas for Brazil unchanged after Conab raised it earlier today. USDA did cut their soybean production and export outlooks for Argentina. Corn closed modestly higher, also in reacting to USDA's supply and demand estimates, especially the global side of things, with maybe a larger than expected cut to the Argentine production and export numbers. No changes to Brazil, though, either on corn. And wheat closed higher. The U.S. ending stocks were up just a little bit less than expected. USDA made some pretty minor changes to the domestic side of numbers, and they raised Australian and Russian production about as expected. Live cattle were mixed and feeders were lower ahead of this week's direct trade. Not a lot was happening during Wednesday's session. And hogs closed higher with cash and wholesale support. With your Market Minute for Wednesday, February 8th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.